Our IVF journey started um, three years ago now, four years ago, I think. Um, yeah. We did the, we'd, we'd gone to the doctors, had all the tests, been to the hospital, things just weren't happening for us. So we got referred for, for IVF. Um, we had the treatment on the NHS initially. Um, but they didn't work. So then of course we'd used up our NHS ones. So then we had to make the decision we, of whether... Yeah, we kind of got to a crossroads then. So we sort of took a little break and then and then decided that actually this is what we wanted we and we wanted to keep going with it. And we stumbled upon Access Facility. Um, and that sort of... Seemed like a good option for Seemed us. like a, yeah. Yeah, a really good option for Mel in terms of making sure that she didn't have any worries in terms of the finances behind it and she could just concentrate on the cycles and I could, you know, have three more attempts, yeah, basically. Yeah. Rather than worrying each time, oh God, it's going to cost X amount of money. We're going to have to save that. Then we're going to have to stop. And then we're going to have to save again. Yeah, we just knew that we had those cycles in in the bank, if you like. Um, I think for me personally, the hardest thing to take is actually when you're going through that process, is sort of friends and work colleagues and people around you who come into work or they give you a call, oh, we're having a baby. You know, that's that's not easy to take when you're going through that sort of process. Um, so it was a relief when we finally got to be able to tell our friends that it was our turn. And we had these little two on the way. So the morning we got our positive test, it's a strange one because you have built up to that moment for so long hoping that you're going to see it but you're not sure so then we I was excited obviously and just relieved and so happy but I think you're also a little bit nervous it didn't it didn't feel real yeah until you actually go for that first scan yeah. and see them and when you see the heart the heartbeat was just for me that was you know it was an incredible feeling and to see two of them in there was uh whilst it was whilst we, whilst we knew two embryos had been put back in um it was still a shock to see that they'd both actually taken at that point so it was uh, but a nice a nice shock yeah i would um 100 percent recommend access facility to anyone that has uh, maybe used up their nhs goes or doesn't have the funding of that I would say go for it it definitely is a, it's so easy um, and really does help take the stress away I yeah. think it relaxes you yeah it's so straightforward easy. it's yeah. easy they're great company to deal with and you get to uh, bring home two little miracles like this hopefully yeah so. makes it all worthwhile yeah <laughs> especially when they sleep yeah <laughs> yeah I think family life has changed Totally, <laughs> hasn't it really? I think there's elements that are the same, aren't there? Yeah, we're the same. Yeah, we're the same. Um, we still like to get out and about yeah. and enjoy spending time with our friends and yeah. family. It's a culture yeah. shock. It's a change to the to your way of life. Yeah. But now it, I don't know what we'd do without. No, them. now you I can't. Kind of I think, think like you can't parent, ever imagine what you'd. Yeah, you what don't you, know what, what you'd be like without them. So waking up, just, waking up in the yeah. morning, walking into their room yeah. in the morning, and they're sort of just come into and they look at you and they smile they recognize you yeah they put their arms out you know that for me that is you know you can't beat that yeah um, nothing in life will beat that no.